Hey guys! It is raining and I'm getting over a cold, so today is the perfect day to sit in my extra room and do a pop haul! Yay! I don't do these very often anymore. I took kind of a break. Um, this time last year I took a complete break from buying pops because I was saving up for a trip and so uh, New York Comic Con is going on right now so I didn't buy anything last year at this time which there are a few pieces that I do regret not getting um, I think about Captain Rex the Hot Topic exclusive and I don't have him but that's really about the only thing I'd rather have my European vacation I guess <laughs> um, I have lots of great memories from that so it's okay but this year I'm not going anywhere and I want to show off some of the stuff that I've accumulated and some of this is old and a lot of it is our convention and exclusives that have been around for a while but because I was on a break I um, didn't get them and now I decided to start collecting them again so first thing I'm going to start off with is one of my beloved Funko Rock Candy. I got this one from the Funko store. This is the only rock candy I've picked up recently. They have unfortunately not been putting out very much. I don't think they put any out for NYCC, which is incredibly sad. This is, was a Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, um, limited edition of 3,000 pieces. And you can see her on the back there. She is in... A firefighter's uniform which is a very interesting and I hemmed in hot on this one of course back when it came out but I did finally decide to pick her up when something else came up on Funko shop so but she is very very cool um, she has you know she's got her suspenders she is doing the bombshell thing that they do um, a sort of cheesecake pose but her eyes are painted a little differently because she does have those green sort of mist colored eyes she's got her a little fireman's hat here number 52 got the old style boots on and then she is holding her um fireman's jacket and then on the back look at that that is so cool i love this detail right here where her hair just goes into a fiery cascade that is so so cool I really like that about this piece so I like her not not exactly my favorite rock candy ever I don't have a huge co uh, connection to Starfire um, I do like her when she's on the Teen Titans Go um, old cartoon uh, that's probably where I know her from best but um, I do like this I especially I just like this part back here that's very very neat and that she's got, you know, this cool firefighter's outfit. And she's very sassy, of course. So glad to add her to my collection. Of course, limited edition of 3,000 pieces is never bad. And the packaging is, of course, stellar, as always. Next, I'm going to start with the Pops. And I've picked these up from different places. I've picked them up from Hot Topic, Walgreens, GameStop... Amazon, a bunch of different places, and these are all things that have been out for a while, but I finally decided to pick them up, and so the first one that I got was Sharon Needles, one of the pop drag queens. I did watch the first five seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race recently, and I just, she's pretty cool. Uh, this is, of course, Sharon Needles, her little witch costume that she came out, and it says on the back, when in doubt freak them out and I just love her because of the whole Halloween thing this was her debut costume when she walked on to the set for was it season two or three maybe four I don't remember whatever season this was her first outfit and I love the little pumpkin right there so she's very she's got the of course the whited out eyes and that uh, look to her face when she walks in and just gives everybody the, the look and of course she's got all her little tattoos and things but yeah she's awesome I'm gonna take her to work and put her uh, on my office 
desk because I love Halloween. I love this little pumpkin guy and I love that she's a witch and she was just really fun to watch. And so yeah, she is my first pop drag queen, which is very cool. She is a Hot Topic exclusive, as you can tell from the box. So I was glad they still had her around. Next, I have a couple of pops from The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. I finally finished watching that. I really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. And the first one that I got, which was along with my Hot Topic share needles, I picked up Mira, which was uh, an SDCC con exclusive from the summer. And uh, this is the first Gelfling who gets her essence sucked out of her by the Skeksis and of course she's um, with uh, Rianne at the time so but this is Mira she's wearing her armor and there's nothing on the back and then she's holding the little lantern from when they're down in the when they're down searching around um, in the tunnels but the detail on her is quite extraordinary. Look at this beautiful metallic and purple hair that you can see there. And then of course you've got the little lantern here and she has her awesome costume, her armor with the, the, little, um, uh, the little emblem right there, the pin. And of course she's got her sword here and her hair is just kind of amazing. The way it's got the triple braid in it. Of course, she's got the Gelfling ears that stick out, and she has the elongated Funko nose that the original Dark Crystal Pops all had for that sort of elongated face that they, they all had. And I was thinking it looks so much like they, they have those squished down faces like Kermit the Frog, which of course it's a Jim Henson production, so. But she's really nice. I really like this pop. Very detailed. And... Unfortunately, we didn't get to see a whole lot of her because, you know, she kind of uh, got turned into essence, but I had to have her because I was really, 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 really enjoyed the Dark Crystal, and this came out at a time when I hadn't seen it yet, but it is an exclusive, so, and it was still around, so I, I had to get it. And then I was walking around a GameStop one day and I decided that I wanted to get Deet from the Dark Crystal. Deet was an amazing character from the Age of Resistance. So this is Deet with baby Nurlock. See her on the side. And then they do have the full regular collection on the back. So you've got Rian, Deet, uh, Hup, Mother Agra, and the Hunter Skeksy. And they did just release two more for New York Comic Con, and I did manage to get my hands on those, so that'll be in an upcoming haul. So we have Deet right here. She looks so fun. She's got all, all of the braids in her hair. She's got so many more braids than Mira does. She's very cool. Of course, she's a Groton. She lives underground, so she's got the green tint to her skin. And she is holding the blue moss that she feeds uh, to the Nurlocks. And of course you have the little baby Nurlock here. And he's very cute, except that this is the stage when he goes nuts and tries to eat poor Deet. Um, so that is the, the angry baby Nurlock. But uh, together they're very neat. I like these so much. Reminds me very much of Kira and Fizzgig. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick up Hup. Um, I'm definitely going to try and pick up Rianne. Uh, I never got the original Agra from uh, the Dark Crystal set, so I might also try to get that. Um, but I'm hoping they do make more in this set. It would be so fun. One I would really like to see, of course, is Brea and maybe like a three-pack of her and her sisters. Uh, I would also love to see... Um, uh, Madra Farah and her little fizz gig with the eye patch. Um, that would be just so adorable. Or maybe just like a pack of little fizz gigs from from the from the show. Like I, 
I love the fizz gigs. There needed to be, that was my only criticism of the Age of Resistance, was that there needed to be 10 times more fizz gigs than there were. Because fizz gig, that's my heart. Um, so I've got two from the Dark Crystal. And so far that is um, my Age of Resistance collection. Like I said, I have a couple more coming, but that'll be in another haul. So I will have a tiny little NYCC haul for you. Next, this is one of the most recent ones that I picked up and I picked it up in store. And I was so excited when I saw this because they had the stand there and the first time that I saw it, it wasn't there. And then I just had a feeling the other day when I walked in, I'm like, it's October. They better have it stocked and they did and it is Dracula from the Universal Monsters collection with the candlestick and the new mold so obviously this is um, a remold of the original Dracula which I have uh, if you're interested I do have a collection video on my Universal Monsters set I have all of them except for the original um, Metal Luna alien um and i don't have any of like the variants like the fuzzy ones or the gray ones or anything but you can see the original collection on the back this is the original dracula that i do have and then i do have all of these guys here and i was just so happy that they brought him out in a new mold um it's hard to like say if I like one better or not just because I like the fact that he's holding the candlestick and he's not just being a like, generic monster but I also when I look at the original I just I just love all the detail on that for for the time when it came out how detailed it was so we've got the Bela Lugosi Dracula here he's got this um, candlestick holder in the form of a gargoyle uh, you can of course see all the detail, his little medallion there, and his cape, and this is when he comes down the stairs, it's that classic Universal Monsters Bela Lugosi, welcome to my castle. Uh, so this is a pretty classic pose, and I'm, I'm glad they made another variant of this, so it's very cool. And I'm glad that they've, they've slowly, slowly, slowly added um, more characters to this line um if you see my if you go and watch my other video you'll see that was back when i had just added the invisible man to my collection that was from last year halloween a walgreens exclusive and there's also um there's also a frankenstein with a flower that i did not pick up but that was very cool for them to add and so they did also release the universal monsters mystery minis this uh, holiday season this Halloween and so I picked up three of those and I've got um, three different ones there at my desk at work but I ended up getting the Frankenstein Bride of Frankenstein and the mummy which is very very cool so I really enjoy those and I haven't gotten any duplicates yet so that's awesome I'm glad that they've made mystery minis fun by sort of going doing a throwback kind of back to their original pieces that they've done. All right, so the rest are going to be from a very, very familiar topic on my channel, and that is the Star Wars collection. So I went and got a bunch of Star Wars ones that had come out earlier and um, across different conventions uh, during this during the year, um, and I hadn't been interested in, that, in them at the time. And then because I don't know, I, I started wanting to have them in my collection. I decided to get them. So I'm gonna start with some of the uh, metallic convention exclusives. So I did end up getting the Boba Fett from Amazon. This is the green one. I do have the yellow one that I got for, uh, it was Celebration. Yeah, it was Celebration, but they did release a green one. They released a green Boba Fett and a green Yoda for SDCC. And again, I like this this one because it is a new improved mold for Boba Fett. They've not released a regular, like regularly painted version of this. They've only released variants and metallics. They just released the um, 
Futura version. There's a it's a graffiti covered version of this Funko Pop with Target, and uh, I believe Futura is a graffiti artist. Just released a whole Star Wars collection with Target, and then there's two like 15 inch, no, two 10 inch um, Boba Fetts that they released in two different colorways, um, but they have not released like a regular colored. Boba Fett. So it's about as close as I've gotten so far because the gold one is gold and this is green. So uh, he is very, very pretty. Um, and he's probably going to stay in his box because um, he's one of those metallic ones that always feels very fragile. And then I'm always afraid pieces are just going to start popping off of them. And then you can see on the side, he does have regular, I'm assuming they're going to put this one out at some point. I don't know when. And then on the back is a bunch of really old convention exclusives. Um, actually, this, these ones aren't convention. These were just regular releases. But this was a, this was a special um, exclusive from Toy Wars. This was a convention exclusive. This one, these were all convention exclusives. And the only one I don't have is this one right here. And then I also got another one from Amazon. This is the gold Darth Vader from Celebration. It is the Darth Vader with the chokehold. And it just says Star Wars Celebration on the back. Um, and it's just got the same number 157 as the one that came, the original one that came out for Rogue One. Um, with the choke hold, um, force choke, I guess. But uh, just pop him out for you so you can see him. This is the second metallic one of this I also have because this um, this one came in a Smuggler's Bounty box in the gray metallic, the sort of gunmetal metallic, but it was the same pose, the same mold, so. You can see he's very flashy, very, very plastic sounding, um, but I like him. I like him. I like, I, I, for some reason, I just decided I, I wanted some of these if they were easier to come by. They're not, we're necessarily even on sale, but they hadn't gone up in price and um, they were just kind of sitting around. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll take those. I'll take those. I'll bring them home, put them on a shelf. And the third one, which is also from Star Wars Celebration, was the Princess Leia from Hot Topic. This is the second one of this mold that I have. The other one that I got was the one that came out in the two-pack with the hologram Leia and the R2-D2. That was from some con a couple of years ago. Um, but in this one, she's um, in her own box. And as you can see, she does have the... Um, they have not released this specific one yet, but it would be great if they would. Again, like with the Boba Fett, they have these new molds, but they haven't released the like regular ones. And then on the back, again, just Celebration 2019. So this one was from Hot Topic, and I believe she was on sale for $10. And you might still be able to get her for $9 or $10. I think she's still available. So I got her with... Uh, Mira and with um, Sharon Needles when I made an order. So there she is. She's kind of looking very Oscar like here. <laughs> so yeah. I like her. I like this pose. I again wish they would just do a regular one. But uh, you know, Funko, they got to use that license, yo. Um, got to use that mold. Just keep cranking them out and. Um, can't blame them because fools like me will totally buy them eventually. Even if we say we're not going to and we're not interested, eventually we'll, it'll just it'll just nod us that we don't have it, and we'll just we'll get it. Another one that I got with an Amazon order because it was there and because I thought I would try to get the chase. I didn't. Spoiler alert! But I did get the Christmas Darth Vader. I was absolutely not interested in this collection at all. I was kind of appalled when it came out, but when I looked at it a little bit closer, like, 
Darth Vader is pretty much the most normal one, even though he is holding a candy cane, and it is kind of a new mold for him. He's not doing the force choke, he does have his little lightsaber in there. And then I believe the chase one, the little candy cane, is just glow in the dark. But I like his little red eyes in there, very much like the very first um, A New Hope Darth Vader with the red lenses. So he's kind of fun and he's just got the little candy cane there and you can see his lightsaber and he's not exactly doing the force choke he's I don't know just angry just kind of wanted one with the Christmas box so I picked that one up and of course there's all the ones from the collection the reindeer R2 the Santa C3PO and the Santa Yoda and then the Chewie all caught up in the lights I might try and see if I can get that one that one looks pretty cute but yeah don't not not a must-have for me but okay I just blew my nose about a thousand times so my voice isn't any better but hopefully my nose won't be running throughout this whole thing um, but yeah like I said I just I wanted to pick up one of the ones with the holiday box and Vader's mold was actually very cool all right so two new ones and these are both Walgreens related, Walgreens adjacent. Uh, so when I made the order to get Starfire, that was because this guy came up on Funko Shop. This is the Dark Side Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. This guy was originally a Walgreens exclusive. As you can see, it does not have a sticker. For some reason, it showed up on Funko Shop. I don't know. It. it I don't know. Walgreens just didn't want to sell the rest of them. They came up once or twice um, on the app and I think they were in store but they apparently decided to re-release them on Funko Shop so I did get this guy number 281 and there is the box art and there is just the bunch of Walgreens exclusives on the back except that guy that was not a Walgreens exclusive that was a very expensive exclusive that no one can get anymore and actually, I think Padme was from GameStop. Okay, I just went down a rabbit hole of trying to remember where all these exclusives were from. The only two that I can remember exactly were from Walgreens were these two right here. I cannot for the life of me remember where the Obi-Wan was from. I have it somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So here we have Dark Side Anakin with those yellow eyes. Now I do have him in a movie moment with Obi-Wan when they're fighting on Mustafar. So didn't necessarily need him, but you know, figured I'd pick up the standalone. He's got, of course, got his blue lightsaber, and yeah, he's ready to just kill some younglings because that's what he does. People wanted this. All right, maybe they should release a hooded Anakin with youngling. That would be gross, but also kind of kind of rad. All right, and finally, one that I just got in the mail the other day. And finally, all right, let's see if I can get this done without the light going out. So the very last one that I have to show you is Office Hope from Walgreens, and it is another Celebration exclusive. It is Darth Maul. So he was one of two that came up for Celebration that were actually the regular versions of them not the chrome versions so this is the Darth Maul when you first see him on a Tatooine and he has just one side of his lightsaber lit up with his hood of course there's nothing on the back the other one to come out in this collection was Watto who was a Hot Topic exclusive I chose not to pick him up not one of my favorite characters I go back and forth on whether I regret that decision or not, but in the end, I think I'm fine with it. Uh, so this guy was on sale for $11.99. He's normally $14.99, and I had a $5 off coupon, so with shipping and everything, it was basically $14. <laughs> so I got him and a little bit cheaper than he normally is. But he's got this nice, cool, like, flowing thing going on here. And, yep, right before you see him with the full horns and everything. So, 
And this lightsaber is pretty neat. So it's cool to add him to the collection um, with the, um, the, there's a, I think the Phantom Menace collection is a bit sparse, although we did get two in the recent Smuggler's Bounty box. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see another version of Darth Maul that isn't just um, with the double lightsaber and everything. It's nice to see him in a specific scene. So I like him. I'm glad to add him to my collection. And he is number 299. How many pops do we have here? Let's see, we got four known Star Wars. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six Star Wars. So we've got 10 pops in total. That's a pretty decent haul. It's more of a collective haul over time. I didn't go out and get these all the same day. Plus we do have this lovely rock candy of Starfire. And yeah, like I said, I'll be having an NYCC haul at some point because I did pick up a few things and I'm pretty excited about them. So yeah. And I'm just I'm happy to be having another pop video. It, they're always really fun to do and to talk about the different pops that I like and the, the franchise, of course. I love to talk about all the Star Wars characters that I get. And of course there's this guy, which is pretty special to me because I just love Halloween and the Bela Lugosi Dracula is one of my favorites. And so, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.